What is going on guys, DBG, and today we're going to be ranking the best centers in my team. Obviously, we've gone through, it should have been done on like the 5th or 6th of this month, it's now the 16th, or it's now the 15th. I'm just so done with this game, but uh, anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get on to it, lads. So, um, let's go and scroll down. Al Horford, F tier. You are a garbage man, Mr. Horford. I'm sorry, you are a garbage, garbage man. Al Horford is horrendous. He's an absolutely horrendous player. Alonzo Morning. You go F tier as well. Like, I wish Alonzo was good. I really, really wish Alonzo Morning was good in this game. He's not. Because, like, these two are 6'10 centers. They should be okay, but... I mean, they're just not good at all. They're just not good at all. So then we got Drummond. I mean, Drummond's... Drummond's E. Drummond is E tier. He's okay. He's nothing special. He is okay, obviously. I don't understand why Larry Bird and Lamar Odom are on this list. They clearly shouldn't. That's neither is Simmons. Obviously, I just added in the wrong bunch of group of players. Or I forgot to take some players out of power forward. So those guys should not be on the list, obviously. And I'm just moving some players around. Because, well... We don't want all the new players at the end. Uh, Bogut, you're going to go into here. Bogut's not actually terrible. He is a perfectly fine player. I used him in like my least used squad. And like Andrew Bogut is... He is good. He is actually good. He is a good player. So, at center, I'm going to put Anthony Davis in D tier. He's just too little. Like, if you could play Anthony Davis a power forward... Then I would, or sorry, if you're talking about Anthony Davis, a power 40 tier high, but you just don't want to run him at center. Like, Gilmore's a better center than Anthony Davis, because Gilmore's big. Like, Gilmore is very, very big in this game. And for me, I'm just there like, yeah, Gilmore's not the greatest, but because of his size, surely you're like, he's more, he's a much more effective center than an Anthony Davis of 6'10". Because Gilmore is simply put huge. Then we got Arvidas. And Arvidas is going to go B tier. He's not third tier of center. He's definitely not top tier, second tier. But at his height and his shooting, he's definitely a B tier player. Ralph Sampson. S, I think. I think Ralph Sampson is an S tier center. I think he's really damn good. I think Ralph is super, super nice. I think he's really, really good. And I'm perfectly happy putting the guy out here in S tier for now. Bam at center, I mean, he's slightly better than these guys are wordless, but not much. And I'm not going to lie, I'm out here putting Bill Russell in, in E tier. I, give me give me Drummond over Bill Russell at center. Like, R Bill Russell's not terrible, and he can guard ball a little bit. But, like, I just do not rate him at all. I just do not rate him at all in this game. So, yeah, let me put... Bill Russell in here at E tier. Bob Lanier, D. Yeah, what, what are we talking about? Bob Lanier, getting to work. Uh, yeah, you suck. Bob Nedlicky. Just as, a, as far as cheese balls go, he's more he's better than AD. I'm going to put him D tier as far as centers go. Big Boban. Get into that tier with Artis Gilmore. I really don't think he's that terrible in this game. I really don't. I think he's fine. I don't think he's great. I think he's a perfectly, perfectly fine card. He's big. He's really big, but Taco S. I know I don't want to have two multiple players in S, but I have to do it with Taco. I have to. I'm sorry. I have, like... Both these tackles play so differently. You gotta be an S. Boban B. Boban's if Boban had a better release, if they gave him like Gallo base or something or something, he would be a uh, NA tier. His player model is sec as far as player builds go. For me, it goes Taco number one, Boban number two, Manu Bowl number three. I think both of those guys have better player builds than Yao Ming. Uh Bobby Portis. Now Bobby Portis is a not bad card. He's gonna go E tier though. Bull Bowl. I'm putting Bobo at C tier. You don't, you do not want to run Bobo at center. Like you really don't. Like there is no reason whatsoever why anyone in their right mind should ever run with Bobo at center. He is just, 
Not that dude. Channing Fry. F. Chad Holmgren at center. I'm going to put Chad Holmgren in B tier. I just think there are better centers in this game. I don't mind Chet though. I really don't mind Chet. I think Chet's one of the best guys in the game. Or one of the best non-end game guys in the game. But he's good. Wherever Andre Drummond is, that's where Birdman's going. I think Birdman's a slightly better Drummond. Birdman, Drummond. And Nate Thurman are basically the same six. Kareem is going to go A. Kareem's so good though. This Kareem is really nice. I much prefer... I like the point guard Kareem at point guard because what, what lineups he allows you to run. If you run like point guard Kareem... And like Luka at small forward and then someone else with a two and I run two giants at center. You're just going to be hawking every lane. But um, if you could run like, I don't know, I'm trying to think who's good at the two. But either way, like, man, I like this card. Wiseman, I'm going to put Wiseman in A tier. He's definitely better than... Yeah, I think a power forward, I take Chad over Wiseman, but I take Wiseman over Chad center. Wiseman got a big player build. This Anthony Davis. This AD is better than this AD though. I'll go. I'm still going to put him in D tier because I think Bob's better than both of them. Bosch. Actually, I'm going to go move all three of these guys up a tier. I'm not going to lie. Move all three of these guys up a tier. Because I'm going to put like... I need to just find someone else with D tier with Bosch. I want like Dino in D tier. I think because of Dino's length, he's better than most of these guys in E tier. And I just need some one more person to throw into this tier. Is Hakeem the right option? Like, I don't mean Dark Matter Hakeem. I mean, like, the 98 overall Hakeem. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. I'm happy with this. And move the Russell up one. But Kristaps, if, again, an S tier power forward, I would not... Like, I like running Kristaps to center, but I would rather run him a power forward. Like, I run him a power forward, I run... Ralph at center when those two guys are together. I think... I still think Ralph's a little better. Chris has Mike get moved up, though. Boucher. Look, good power forward. Don't run him at center. Don't run whatever you do at center. LeBron James at center. I'm sorry. As a center, he's going into E tier. Don't run LeBron at center. Chris Wood. I mean, he's not very good at center either. Dawkins, though. Dawkins is a slept on card. I know he's undersized, but he's got that wide player build. He's got a super nice release. He's like a just juiced up version of like Nate Thurmond. He's a really good player. Wilt. I mean, Wilt, I didn't, I thought Wilt was really good when he came out. And as time goes on, I have more and more appreciation for Wilt. The only end game card um, that you could technically buy, I know, is a lock in. He's the only non reward end game card. Like non like grindable end game card that didn't have basically a set shot for set shot 25. So him just being that unique player means I have a lot of more appreciation for Wilt. If I got Wilt, I would be like if I had Wilt in my collection, I'd be using Wilt right now because he's unique. I'd be using Wilt and Taco as my two centers. But um yeah, really decent card. This David Robinson to this day is C2. Really good. Came out the same day as Luca. This David Robinson. I'm gonna give him a low A tier spot. I don't like David Robinson that much, but I'm just I will admit it, he's an A tier player. He's nothing spectacular, but he is an A tier player. Buggy Cousins. Like low C tier, high D tier. I got high D tier for Buggy Cousins, I guess. Ralph for a second time. Um Dikembe Matumbo. I really hate Dikembe. I just don't think he gets rebounds. Like, a lot of people like the Kembe, and that's fine. But I got him for a 1,000 tokens, and straight away, I was like, he's terrible. From the very start, I was not a fan. I was not a fan at all of the Kembe Matombo. Like, the guy was just... He was just kind of there, wasn't he? He was just kind of there. Chris Stapps, B tier at center. Is that a Chris Stapps? You want to run a power forward. He is B tier at center. Um, Carl Anthony Towns. What am I talking about? He's C tier. He's not actually terrible, to be honest. But I am going to put him in C tier. Dirk Nowitzki at center is still an A tier player. Again, I don't want. I don't think anyone should run him at center. I think he's a way better power forward, but he's not bad at center. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get the worthless tier sorted now. There's gotta be more players. Oh, Mitchell Robinson sucks, man. Mitchell Robinson really sucks. I think, like, if we've got Al Alonzo Mourning down here, I think Dwight Howard's gotta go down here as well. I think Dwight's really, really weak at center. Because, again, he was good when he came out, but when he came out, it was the 1st of March. I think Pau Gasol. No, he's not gonna go worthless. I think Ty Tyler Hansbro at center. I don't even mind Tyler Hansbro, but he's not good at center. He's really not good at this stage of the game at center. His release isn't bad. He's got a decent movement, but he's got to go down there, doesn't he? Oh, this James Wiseman. No, nah, Tyler Hansbro, you go up. Because this James Wiseman's got to go down here in F tier. Kavon Looney at center has to go into F tier as well. I think that's probably it for F. White side, F. We got too many players in F tier right now. So Dwight, you go. You can go up. Um, Kevon Looney, you can go up. Okay, we got that. Uh, Sabonis at center is an E tier player. Again, I, I like him as a point guard. He's a nice cheesy point guard. But he's an E tier center. Mobley's gonna go B tier. He's definitely better than Bobble. The only issue with Mobley is that like he's very very slim. He's got a very small player build. He's very skinny, so like he's not a flawless card. He's okay though, so let's just chuck Mobley in B tier. George Mikan at center. Give me E tier for George Mikan. He's just not that dude, is he? Obviously Taco is S. I'm still gonna put Giannis like this. I still think a 6'11 is Giannis is an S tier player, is an A tier center. Is Giannis is gonna go B tier. And then we got, we're obviously putting Taco and Esther. Like, there is no chance about it. Like, there's no question about it. Endgame Taco Fall is going into S tier, no matter what. Hakeem. I'm going to put Hakeem in A tier. I don't think he's that much better than, like, a Chocolate Thunder, but, like, he is slightly better. So, he's going up there. Gallop as well. Pow. D. D tier for him. Uh, I'm gonna go Horace Grant in D tier. He's undersized, but Horace Grant is nice. Again, a power forward. Like this guy is well and truly a power forward. But he is kinda good. I just want to crazy things like he's kinda good. I used him in my 30 day account for a while. Horace Grant is kinda good, lads. Sigma. Look, I think Sigma is the equivalent to this Akeem. I'm about a Sigma in D tier. Jalen Duran, I hate Jalen Duran, so I'm gonna put him in E tier. If you like Jalen Duran, that's fine. I hate Jalen Duran. Darren Jackson Jr., so damn meh. He's so meh. Get him in D tier. Between D and C, he's meh. Him Jones, C, E tier. He's not big. He's not the great shooter. I just like him because his name is Jim Jones, and I call him Him Jones. Embiid, low B tier. It's either high C tier or low B tier. I think I'm actually edging towards high C tier. There's just something about this Embiid I don't like. And it's not even the release because I like it on Taco. There's just something about Embiid I don't like and I can't put my finger on it. I have him. I used him for a while. I actually thought, he, I didn't think Endgame was going to be a thing and I thought he was going to be like my Endgame power forward. But I used him for like a week and realized I preferred Nate Thurmond. Genuinely used him for like a week and I was like, nope, I prefer Thurmond. Kareem's, I'm gonna go like C tier for one of these Kareem's. I'm gonna go A tier for the other. I'm gonna go C tier, A tier for the Kareem's. I know, I'm, I'm gonna put this one in S tier. I'm gonna put this one here in S tier, but the other one's gonna go C. Power within, he's just kind of fine. And Hero Kareem's probably gonna be B or A tier. Kevin Garnett or Kevin McHale. C, Kevin Garnett, C. Again, it's a little bit undersized. He's not a bad player, though. Uh, no, I'll give him Vince, but Kevin Garnett beat her. Chris Stapps, this Chris Stapps? I know he's 7 3 and all that, but like, come on. C tier. He's no better than this, like, Joel Wheaton. He's definitely not better than Kareem. LMA. I'll go D for LMA. Like, again, a good shooter, good player build. The issue is he's not great at anything. Like he's fine at most things. 
Lamello at center is gonna go D tier. Manu Bowl. If you guys saw my last video with this guy, you guys would know why I would half consider putting him down here. And then you see, I'm gonna put Manu Bowl in C tier. And you might be saying, how am I putting Manu Bowl in C tier? He just has this problem where he's really not very good at catching the ball, no matter what badges you give him. Like, the more I use Manute Bull, the more I hate Manute Bull. Like, Manute Bull was my guy. He was my big man. I love this card. The more I use him, the more I hate him. Like, I cannot use this card without getting angry anymore. Him or Mark Williams, give me Mark Williams. Him or Embiid, give me Embiid. Him or Artis Gilmore, give me Artis Gilmore. There's something about Manute Bull. Marcus Saul. Uh, I'll go off of Marcus all low C tier. He's alright. Mark Eaton, however, A tier. A tier. He's not getting my last spot in S tier, but he's going A tier. He is. He's that dude. He's really that dude. Mark Williams, the highest of B tier. No, screw it. Mark Williams, you're going A tier. If Hakeem is in A tier, Mark Williams is going A tier. Hakeem, Mark Williams is better at center. Hakeem's better at car, but Mark Williams is better at center. Mark Williams, huge player build. Movement is elite and just all around an elite elite card. Um for as far as Yao Ming's go, I think we go like I'm gonna move Hakeem down. Hakeem's already top. I'm gonna go B tier for signature Yao. I'm gonna go S tier for Endgame Yao. I'm gonna go A tier for Invincible Yao and A tier for Signature Yao. Same with Colossal Yao. Um this Yao is the best center in Invincible, by the way. I just, I, I, get, I think I might just do that, to be honest. I think I might just do that, because Yao is better, Invincible Yao is better than Ralph. I, yeah. Mo Bamba, uh, like high D tier, he's like a better Dino. Mo Bamba is like one of the most overhyped cards ever in the last, he was good, he was really good in 2K19, he was fine in 2K20. Mo Bamba was not good in 2K21, and he's not good in 2K22. Then we have got Moses Malone. D. D. At center, D tier. Moses Malone is just a meh card. He's just perfectly fine. That's the only way to describe him. Especially at center. Miles Bridges, you go D tier as well. So you're not Miles Bridges, Miles Turner. You go D tier. Like, Miles Turner might drop to E, to be honest. Nate Thurmond, I, I like him a power forward, but he's going to go into B tier. I put Thurmond on like a Daryl Dawkins level. I think those cards are so similar. I love Nate Thurmond though. Like I much prefer Nate Thurmond to like Joel Embiid when I ran the two of them together in the same team. Dunk Toby Jokic. Look, I don't want to do it, but he's an E tier player at this stage. This Jokic, B tier. Not a bad player to run center, you just don't really want to run him at center. That's kind of the issue, is that there's way better options. Ewing. Look, I'm going to have to put this Ewing in D tier, but at the same time, I would put the Opal Ewing in C tier. Opal Ewing is a lot better than um, Dark Matter Ewing, which is crazy. Big Man Ralph Sampson, uh, D, because I actually think like Boban and stuff are better than him. I think he's a big body, but he's not as good as Boban. Hibbert, I'm going to put in D tier as well, but Hibbert's a nice player as well. Hibbert's a big, big body. He can shoot the three. Nah, Hibbert, you go up a tier. You're better than Ralph Thompson. Oh, sorry. What am I talking about? Hibbert's C tier. Like, he can... He's nice. He had a... He moves really well with the ball. He's tall. He's not a bad player. Obviously, we already have the tacos in there. Surge of Ibaka. Surge Ibaka. At center, I'm putting Surge in E tier. He's like between D and E are very, D and E is very close to tiers. But I'm going to put Surge in that tier. Shaq, no good release for you. I'm actually going to do this on Shaq's. I'm going to go, this Shaq's going to go B tier. The 75th Shaq is better than this Invincible Shaq. Because this Shaq actually can kind of move significantly better and he's lighter. This Invincible Shaq just sucks. Um... Yeah, I'm going to put B, go B and C for that. And as far as Shaq's go, this Invincible Shaq is the exact same as 75th Shaq, except he's a higher 3-ball. Still got to go A tier for the other Shaq. I don't really like him. But, like, he's objectively A tier. Taco, A. 
There is no Taco Fall in the game other than his Ruby. That is not at least an A tier center. All the Dark Matter Tacos are A tier or S tier. Um, Duncan, C tier. I don't mind the card. He's just fine. Like he's better than Pow. He's probably not as good. He's probably better than Mark as well, but he's only okay. Wilt. So Anthony Davis, I'm going to put in B tier. And Wilt, I'm going to put in C tier. So I'm going to put Anthony Davis in B tier just because he's too small to play center. But again, he's a really nice power forward. And then this Will Chamberlain, I'm going to put in C tier. Just kind of slow, small. Doesn't play lanes like you would expect from a card like this. So yeah, this is the tier list. This is my last position tier list of the year. And um, tomorrow is going to be the final tier list of the year in general. And then Thursday is probably going to be my final top 100 list. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.